Today, we are going to work on solving equations that have variables on both sides. This is TEKS 8.8c, model and solve one variable equations with variables on both sides. Now first, we're going to start off with some reminders. So first, we're going to combine like terms and simplify each side of the equation. So before we move anything, we check if we can combine anything that's the same on each side. Once we're done, we're going to go ahead, just for consistency, we're going to move all the variables, so any x's or y's, we're going to move the variables to the left. So we're going to start off always with adding and subtracting. Next, we're going to move all constants. Constants are your numbers that they don't have letters attached to them. We're going to move all of those to the right. And then if there is a coefficient in front of the x, like 3x, or 1 half x. We're going to divide or multiply to get that variable by itself. Okay, so here's example number one that I'm going to go ahead and work out with you. So we look if we have anything that we can combine on the same side. There's nothing to combine over here and there's nothing to combine over here. That's step one. Step two, we're going to go ahead and move all the variables to the left side of the equation. So right now we have this positive 3x, but I want this to be gone. So the way to move a positive 3x is to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. Now the reason I do this is to balance that equation. So then I have 2x plus 4 equals negative 6. Okay, step 3 is to go ahead and move your constants to the right side. I want to move this, negative, this positive 4. I want to move this positive 4 to this side, or basically I'm getting rid of it from this side. So the opposite of adding 4 is going to be to subtract 4. And again, you have to do it one on each time side of the equation. Now that I've moved that 4, now notice that all my x's are on the left and all my con constants are on the right. Now the inverse, right now these are being multiplied. So in order to get rid of this 2, in order to eliminate it, is to go ahead and divide by 2. Now I'm not really eliminating it, but if I divide by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and I now have x by itself, and then the answer is negative 5. So go ahead and pause this video here, and I want you to actually follow those exact same steps and try practice number 1. Okay, now you get to check your work here. Go ahead and pause if you want to look at it. We followed the exact same steps and we got down to x equals negative 2. Okay, we're the same thing again. We're going to go ahead and start with example number 2. Okay, so our first thing is to look, can we combine any terms on this side? Nope. Can we combine any on this side? Nope. So now I want to get rid of this negative 3x because I want it to come to this side. So again, the opposite of subtracting 3x, remember you're always doing the inverse sign. So you always need to do the opposite of whatever you see there. And so now when we do that opposite, we have 4x minus 5 equals 11. So now we want to move that minus 5. We want to move the constants. I want to get rid of it over here. In order to get rid of it over here to eliminate it, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Because whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. And then I end up with 4x equals 16. Now that 4 is being multiplied, so in order to make this a 1x, I need to divide by 4. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So now I want you to pause that video, and I want you to try this practice number 2 completely on your own. My answer came out to x equals negative 3. Hopefully you guys are understanding it. If you got it wrong, I want you to look at your steps and to see where your mistake was. Okay? Now we're going to go to example number 3 and practice number 3. So example number 3. Okay? First we're going to move our x's. So we're going to subtract 7x from both sides. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to both sides of that equal sign. So always make sure that this equal sign, that you do it one to each time, okay? Then you end up with negative 2x minus 4 equals negative 8, okay? Next, we're going to add 4 to both sides. And I ended up with negative 2x equals negative 4 because I have negative 8 plus 4. Go ahead and divide by negative 2 on both sides. 
and when you divide on both sides, you end up with x equals positive 2. Okay? Go ahead and pause it here if you want to practice, and I want you guys to practice number 3 on your own. Okay, I got x equals 8. Go ahead and check your work here. Following the steps should look the same since we moved the x's first and then we moved the constants to the other side and then we divided by the coefficient, okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and now you guys have four questions to practice, but we'll go one at a time. So, go ahead and pause this video. I want you to try practice number four on your own. Hopefully that fraction didn't mess you up, okay? So what happened here was I moved the 5x over, then I subtracted 8 from both sides, ended up with 7x equals 34. And when I divided by 7, that was not a whole number, and it's not a pretty decimal, so I went ahead and left it as a fraction, okay? Go ahead and try number 5 on your own. Now, this one ended up with being a negative answer. So the tricky thing here, I'm hoping you didn't make this mistake, 1 minus 2 is a negative 1x. You don't need the 1 there, but you can put it. But the big thing was right here at the end, I had negative x equals negative 22. But I want the x by itself. So this negative 1 in front of it, if I divide by negative 1, now this becomes a positive 1x equals a negative 22. Okay? Just two more questions, okay? We are going to go ahead and do ex number six. Pause this video here. Try this one on your own. Hopefully this one was kind of easy for you. I it did end up with negative four divided by negative two. So what happens when I divide two negatives? I ended up with a positive two solution, okay? The very last one, I did add one extra step at the beginning. We kept saying to look on each side to see if we can combine like terms. And I want you to pay attention to this side. Before you move anything over, I do want you to combine like terms. Okay, go ahead and pause this video here. Okay, so that first step was our extra one. Always combine like terms if you can. So 3x plus x was 4x plus 6 equals 10x minus 48. Okay, so now that I combine like terms, now I can subtract 10x, so I can eliminate it here. But whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other, okay? Then I moved this 6 over, and then at the very end, I had two negatives, which gave me a positive, and negative 54 divided by 6 is 9. Okay. Hopefully, this video helped you practice how to solve equations with variables on both sides.